flop around like a dead fish while being punched in the face while Herb Dean let the clock run out. Came back strong though, came back strong. What's up y'all? UFC T dot breakdowns. We're here to talk about UFC fight night 212 Grasso versus Adahujo. This is a good fight. I'm a big fan of Alexa Grasso. She's a really, really, really technically sound boxer. Her boxing is definitely her strong point. She's clearly been working on her grappling because Adahujo really wanted to wrestle. Alexa was able to defend that and, and, and keep this on the feet for the most part. Adahujo surprised me and was able to stand on the feet with Alexa Grasso for the whole fight, pretty much. Grasso won by a hair in the decision. I think it could have gone either way. It was a good fight. Probably wasn't the most entertaining fight, but it was a good fight, a good back and forth. There was clearly um, a power advantage on Adahujo's side. There was clearly a skill advantage on Grasso's side when it comes to the striking. Uh, when it came to the grappling and on the ground, it was clear that that was Adahujo's plan, and Grasso just wanted to get out of there. I mean, she was getting up with just force of will. It wasn't technique she was using to get up. She was just wait to the right moment and just power up. By the end of the fight, they both were pretty battered. Grosso was landing great combinations towards the end of almost every round. Mata Hujo would get takedowns towards the end of rounds just to add to her points. It was a good fight. It was a good fight. I mean, nothing to write home about, nothing great. To be honest with you, I think Valentina destroys either one of them. And, like, and, and I'm a fan of Alexa Grosso. I just don't think she has a complete enough MMA game. Uh, to hang with the ones at the, with the uh, women at the top. One of the announcers hiccuped right into the microphone right before this fight started. I don't, there's no point to that. Uh, Cub Swanson fought Jonathan Martinez. Martinez landed kicks at every level effectively. I don't think he landed any headshots, but just the way he was making Cub have to block the head kicks led to him being able to land the leg kicks and the body kicks so well. Uh, put Cub down with a body kick. Cub was able to flop around like a dead fish while being punched in the face while Herb Dean let the clock run out. Came back strong, though. Came back strong. Um, they wrestled a little bit, and then Cub made it a fight. But it didn't matter by the end. Martinez was just tearing up that lead left leg. Final leg kick to the inside of that left leg. Cub screams, falls to the ground, rolls over on his stomach, and then Herb Dean goes, he seems good. So Martinez hit Cub a few more times before Herb stepped in and stopped it. I'm just saying, man. How do you win a TKO by leg strikes and still punch a dude five more times in the face after he fell on the ground screaming from the leg strike? Uh, Herb Dean. How does that happen? Herb Dean. Jordan Wright versus Dusko Tatarovic. It was funny. The first round was mostly just wrestling scrambles. Jordan Wright had some great um, punches landed during those scrambles. And then the second round, Dusko just came out and knocked Jordan Wright out. <laughs> we had uh, Victor Henry versus uh, Rafael Asansal. I don't have anything really to say about this fight other than at some point Asansal had with his back against the octagon, caught a kick, and just punched Victor across the ring while holding his leg until his back was against the ring. I just, I like that visual. Um, it looked like uh, like an SNL sketch of a UFC fight. Uh, Alonzo Minifield versus uh, Misha Serkinov. Alonzo Minifield, hey man, maybe once you've made your opponent's body lifeless, stop hitting it. When they're laying flat on their back with their arms and legs spread out, snoring, stop hitting them. Also, referee, Maybe do something before the guy gets speed bagged on his unconscious face. He speed bagged him. He hit him back fist, front fist, front fist, back fist. <laughs> like, drr, drr. And then he landed a hammer punch. At least it wasn't to the back of the head this time, Cyril. We had uh, uh, Mana Martinez versus Brandon Davis. I think this is the fight of the night. It was a great fight. Great striking match. It was a lot of jarring, talking mess. Uh, man, it literally don't become a wrestler. Don't become a wrestler on me, Brandon. Um, there was a spinning back fist from Manny Martinez, which he is very good at and does often. Big spinning back fist. Pretty much knocked Brandon Davis out. Beat him up on the ground really badly, too. Could have been stopped. Wasn't stopped. Brandon Davis came back, though, and purported himself very well. Brandon Davis' switch stance is so slick, man. So slick. Like, there was this one moment where he threw this straight right hand from orthodox, switched stance to southpaw, and then threw a straight left hand. And the, and the right didn't land, but the left landed. I mean, man, I was backing away from it and still got, like, stopped in his tracks. Like, the sound he made was the sound somebody pushing forward makes when they get hit with a real stiff jab. Like, he just... <laughs> it was a great fight back and forth, like I said. Amanda Martinez, I think, ended up winning that by decision. Uh, we had Pierre uh, Rodriguez versus... Sam Hughes, the announcers, really impressed by her nickname, Sam Page. They must have said it 47 times. Sam Page, Sam Page, Sam Page. All right, shut up. Pierre, Pierre Rodriguez is this uh, prospect who 
I mean, they said like she's like 12 and 0 or something, but like I don't remember her ever winning any of her fights. And I don't remember her finishing anyone. And I just remember all her fights being boring. And I remember like, she, like she's good everywhere, but like I don't remember her being great anywhere. I don't remember her doing anything memorable. All of her interviews are like, I'm Pierre Rodriguez, I'm going to be the next great champ. And then her promo, she talking, she's like, I'm in the UFC and I need to do some things. But whatever, cool. I guess she's the new hot thing who needs 40 minute promos and all this publicity. And she's just like, uh, and her fight style is like, uh, I don't know. I didn't realize how good Mackenzie Dern was at jiu-jitsu until I finally seen her fight someone good enough to stop her from submitting them immediately. So maybe that's the case with this lady also. Um, I just feel like Valentina Shevchenko would embarrass her anywhere she wants it. And I'm not saying she should be fighting Valentina. I'm saying, why does she have a 40-minute promo? I didn't see no 40-minute Valentina Shevchenko promo. Did you guys see Paul Felder's emotional range when he was interviewing the Japanese fighter, uh, Tahiro, when he won? Like, he just, he went through every emotion in, like, 10 seconds because of Tahira. Like, he faked him out, spoke some English, and Felder thought he couldn't speak any English. And he can't. He just knew, like, four, two phrases. I said four. He knew two phrases. Um, last thing I have to say about this fight card is that, did you guys know Mike Jackson was still in the UFC? Like, CM Punk? Mike Jackson? Like, Mickey Gall? First fight? Mike Jackson? Uh, Mike Jackson is still in the UFC. Uh, thirty uh, about ninety seconds in, uh, he was fighting a guy named Pete Rodriguez. Uh, Pete Rodriguez is mean. About ninety seconds in, Pete uh, kneed him in the face, knocked him out as he fell with his leg bent behind his back. Pete just kept hitting him more and more in his knocked out face. Do something, referee! All right, y'all. <laughs> That's it. I told you they're gonna be short from now on, man. Anybody watching it? I posted a video that was ten seconds long. Then. I converted that same video into a short. The short already got a thousand views. The video has no views. I just don't get it. YouTube, what are you doing? The short ain't even as good as the video because the short cuts the video and you can't see the whole thing. Please like, subscribe, and follow. Thank you for watching. If you're still here at this point, I love you. Goodbye.